Hi there, this is Oprichoke. I'm a teacher for accounting, business studies, EMS, as well as research. If you're watching this, you're definitely at the right place. Please don't forget to hit that subscribe button on your bottom right. And once you're done with that, you can definitely make sure that you leave your comments on the comment section. And once you're done with that, you can definitely make sure that you also tell your friends to watch this video, to like this video, and to also subscribe to this channel. And this will help us to be able to grow as an online learning community. If you're in Hammerskrell, I'm pleased to let you know that Y Education SA is hosting some, some contact lessons that are taking place at Tusanang Daycare Center next to Mabuadro Primary School. And all you have to do to become part of us is to pay a once-off fee of 100 rand. And from there, you'll be expected to pay 250 per subject a month so if you want to become part of us on your first month you're going to be paying 100 rand of registration plus 500 of the two subjects that you would have chosen if you want to join us you can get in touch with us by using the contact details that will appear right on the screen if you want me to become your online tutor, I'm pleased to let you know that HLK Tutorials is hosting some online lessons that are taking place on a daily basis and all you have to do to become part of us is to choose a subscription that is suitable for you, pay it and then request your lesson. Once you are done with that, we will be able to give you the lesson of your choice. On online lessons, we only have three packages that are available and you can choose any of the packages that I'm going to mention. Package number one, it's only 350 per month and you'll be getting two online lessons that are recorded as they occur. So you pay 350 per month, you get two online lessons per week, which are recorded as they occur. Package number two, it's only 250 per month and you'll be getting one online lesson that is recorded as it occurs plus one pre-recorded lesson per week. Package number three, it's only 150 and you'll be getting one online lesson that is recorded as it occur a week if you feel like online lessons are expensive for you i'm pleased to let you know that we also have got contact lessons that are also taking place on a weekly basis and if any of these options that i'm going to mention are suitable for you please choose it pay it and get in touch with us so that we can be able to make your academic problems a thing of the past on package number one it's only 450 and you get two contact lessons per week package number two is only 350 per month and you get one contact lesson per week hello welcome to the new lesson of the week in the previous lesson we were looking at how to calculate interest on loan when interest is not capitalized in this question we are going to look at how you can calculate interest on loan when interest is capitalized what we mean by saying interest is capitalized we mean that interest is added on your loan balance like for example at the beginning of the year you will have a balance that is available and then you will normally make a payment that will also include interest and then from there what you're going to be left with the bank will then charge you interest on that and then normally when interest is capitalized hey, your loan if you don't make your payments regularly it will take a long time for you to repay that loan because why interest is always added on your balance so um, i hope that this will be able to help you to understand this transaction much more better and then this transaction actually you can do it in a form of a t account so i'm going to show you how to do this transaction using a t account okay so that interest on loan um remember they're saying that interest is capitalized okay so we'd have interest on loan remember they're saying that interest is capitalized and i will show you what does this mean i'm going to draw okay let me draw it here i'm going to draw a t account that is going to help you to understand this okay and this will be our loan account so let's check when is the beginning of the year so that we can be able to make sense out of the transaction that we are given here we are told that the beginning of the year you can just see here the beginning of the year is on 1 july 2019 
so meaning that this is your opening balance even if you go to the top of the trap balance you will see that the beginning of the year it is still 1 july 2019 you see it's ending on 30 june 2020 so the beginning it's still 1 july 2019 so what we're going to do will then take um if you also look at this you are given uh, the loan from debbie bank of 384,000. but you need to think how did we end up having that 384,000? i'm going to show you something the information that you need for this is here so what we're going to do we're going to follow the balance that we'll receive from the loan statement so here they're saying that the loan statement received from debbie bank on 30 june 2020 reflected the following okay so this is at the end of the month when we got the loan segment we saw this the balance of the loan at the beginning of the year was 480,000. if you look at the trial balance i noticed that they also gave you um a loan which is 384,000. i would advise you to please ignore that balance it is just to confuse you when I, as a student you are controlled by what the loan statement account is saying okay so here the loan statement is saying that the balance at the beginning of the year on 1 july 2019 remember loan it is a liability so if it is a liability it will increase on the credit side okay so please be careful about this so on 1 july 2019 the balance brought down of the loan meaning that the opening balance of the loan was 480,000 so we would have 480,000 on the credit side okay and then they're telling us that during the year we made a loan repayment remember if we are making a repayment it means that the loan is reduced okay so this will be bracketed so loan being a liability it will be reduced on the debit side so it means that we're going to take the repayment and put it on the debit side of the loan account so here um would have let's say um because we're not sure when they paid we'll just write uh, 30 june 2020 the end of the year and then we'll write bank here and then the loan payment the repayment they are saying that it was 96000 so they paid 96000 which also includes interest okay and remember i said that when they say interest is capitalized they mean that interest is added on your capital balance so it means that on the 30 june uh, 2020 our interest will be on the credit side so we have interest on loan which is not known at the moment it's what we are looking for so what you're going to do you then check what else do you have on the 30th of june you have the balance carried down and you see here they're telling you that interest is capitalized which means that is at like i said that interest is added on your loan balance and i'm going to prove it to you when we are done so here um we have then the balance of the loan at the end of the year which is 420,000. now remember before something becomes a balance uh brought down it becomes a carry down so because here it's on the month end it means it will have to become a carried down first so here on the 30th of june 2020 the balance carried down was 420,000. okay then we get the total here which then became the opening balance for 1 july 2020 and then balance brought down which is um 420,000 of the closing balance so now what we are going to do then we will say that um we look at these two parts and then just try to see 
where the bigger side is if you look at this um already this part it's more than the credit side because you see this is where the carry down is and then here we have a missing fig already if you add 400,000 let's ignore this 20,000 if you add 400,000 plus 96,000 it's already above 408 so it means that the debit side will be what we would use to get our total so we're going to say 420,000 plus 96,000 and then it's going to give us 516,000 so um our total will be 516,000 so even the side would have 516,000 and then from there the difference that we are going to get this 516,000 minus 408 will be our interest on loan so this answer minus uh, 480,000 will be our balance so our balance is 36,000 okay so it means that the interest on loan is 36,000 so let's see if looking at the definition that when interest is capitalized um it means that it's added on the balance of the loan let's see at the beginning of the year interest on loan was 480,000 so if we say 480,000 and then we say minus 96,000 and then we will get 384,000 which is what they gave you you see on the income uh, bargain on the trial balance that's what they gave you that's the amount they gave you according to them this is what was the balance but the information is not correct because remember what they are going to do they are going to add interest on loan which is 36,000 and then which will make your closing balance to be 420,000 you see so it means that our calculation is correct so this is how you calculate interest on loan uh, when interest is capitalized and then in the income statement in the income statement in the income statement uh under interest expense okay under interest expense they're going to say the balance that is available you can just look at what you did here you will say opening balance which is four hundred and twenty thousand you add it to the repayment you do a reversal it's like you're waking from bottom going up okay you can even look at it here you start from here and then when you do the reversal you will add this and then subtract this so it means we're going to say plus ninety six thousand, and then we subtract the opening balance which is four hundred and eighty thousand, and then it will still give us um thirty six thousand. and then remember this interest expense has got to be in brackets so in your income statement remember to put it in brackets and this question uh, or this adjustment is worth around four marks and then one thing that you also need to check in the when you do this such things you need to also check if there's any interest on loan or interest on overdraft that is available so on the bank statement there's nothing that was given to us to show us what was the interest on overdraft and all that so it's not available so this means that in the income statement this is how you will do the interest expense calculation when interest on loan is capitalized if you need me to help you with such transactions please don't forget to get in touch with me by using the details that i'm currently displaying on the screen and with that out of the way thank you so much for watching this may god richly and abundantly bless you shalom